Hello and welcome to this 5 Minutes to Wow video. In this video I quickly want to show you how you can remove dashboard tile links. And what I mean by that is when you're inside of a dashboard and you click on one of the report visuals or one of the tiles inside of a dashboard, the default behavior of that visual is to take you to the underlying report. Now you're probably aware that you can change that to direct that to maybe a different dashboard or maybe even a different report item or you can even set your own custom URL link. But let's say that you have a user who continually accidentally maybe when viewing this on their tablet or on their phone continually click on the tile on accident when trying to scroll and unfortunately that takes them into the underlying report and they want you to get rid of that. They don't want their dashboard to drill down into other reports or other dashboards. They just want to see the dashboard the way that it is. So essentially what I want to show you here in this very quick video is how you can remove those links from inside of the Power BI service. All right, so to quickly review what we're going to do here, our problem is going to be dashboard items that drill down into other reports. We want to prevent that from happening. The way we're going to design this is by creating a custom URL that points back to the original dashboard that we're on, and then we're going to use that dashboard URL inside the custom URL link for that dashboard visual or item. Now, there's one additional step here that we need to be concerned about because it will refresh and it will flash and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to show you the trick to that as well. So now we're going to jump back over to the Power BI service and I'm going to show you how to set this up very quickly inside of a dashboard. All right, so what I want to do is go ahead and open up my New York dashboard. So I'm going to click on that and that's going to take me into my dashboard that I've created here. And what I want to do is instead of accidentally maybe clicking on a tile when I'm browsing this, like this 29.3 million for total sales, which takes me to the underlying report, instead, if I accidentally click on this tile, I'm going to make sure it stays right here on this dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy out the dashboard URL up here at the top. So this is the URL for this dashboard that I'm currently on. So I'm just going to hit Control C to copy that out. And then I'm going to go into the custom URL, into the tile details for this total cell. So I'm going to click on the ellipse, and then I'm going to go into the tile details here. And then inside of this tab, I'm going to come down here and say, I want to set a custom link. So I can click on set a custom link. Now, what's interesting about this option is if I say I want to link to a dashboard or report in this current workspace, you'll notice that I won't actually see the New York dashboard in here. So it's not in here. So the only option I have as far as setting up a, a link to an existing dashboard or report is to actually click on a different one than the one I'm in, which is not what I want. Remember, we just want to simply remove that link so it always goes back to the same page. So that's not going to work for us. Instead, we're going to use an external link here. So I'm going to click external link, and then I'm going to paste in the URL, that dashboard URL that we copied up here from our, our, our box up here at the very top. And then I'm going to also tell it that I do want to open the custom link in the same tab. Now the goal of this is to prevent it from flashing or refreshing or looking like we actually clicked a link. That's the goal. This used to work, but Microsoft made some changes here, so now we got to just add another character to make this work. So once I'm done, I can go ahead and click on Apply. Now what will happen is whenever I come over here and click on my total cells, it's now going to stay on the same dashboard. The only problem is that it flashes and refreshes, and I don't want it to do that. So the way that we can modify this to, to kind of remove that link or remove the opportunity to go to an underlying report or go to another dashboard or even flashing is we go back into the custom link. So I'm going to go back into those tile details. I'm going to go back into that URL. And at the very end of that URL right there, I'm going to add in the hashtag. All I'm going to do is put in a little pound sign. So I'm going to add the pound sign. I'm going to go down and click on apply. And I'm going to zoom back out. And now if I click on total sales, you'll see that the URL up here at the top is going to change, but total sales itself is going to, re uh, the rest of the dashboard will remain the same. So it's like I'm clicking on it, but nothing's happening. And that's exactly the behavior that I was working for. Now, adding the little hashtag at the end was not my idea. I got that from a friend named Corey Taylor here in Jacksonville, so I thank him for that. But that is how you can get that to work. And essentially you would go into each of these different items here and you would update them to point back to the existing dashboard so that the dashboard is a true dashboard that just doesn't drill down, if that's what you're looking for here in this example. All right, thanks again for watching this video, and if you're interested in more formal training, please feel free to check out On Demand Training by Pragmatic Works, and there's a promo code on your screen that will save you 10% on any of the training packs that we offer. 
And if you can't find that or you're unfamiliar with that, feel free to send me an email or connect with me via Twitter or LinkedIn or any of those items. Thanks again and enjoy.